Hello to everyone. So uh, welcome to another lesson. This is going to be a lesson for 13th of April. That's uh, Monday. Uh, hope you have understood yesterday's lesson and some of you had also sent me the homework and well done for those girls. So before we go on with this, in the next part of the lesson, first let's check these two questions which I gave us homework, whether the answers you have got is correct or not. Now, as usual, as I told you in the previous video, you have to be very careful when you're multiplying decimals and fractions. So if you have following the exact rules, yes, your answers will be right. So first, the formula of the area of triangles, I hope you have not forgotten, A is equal to half B H, which means half multiplied by base multiplied by height. As you know, I cannot write it down one over two. So I have written it like this. So area is going to be equal to 0 0.6 multiplied, oh, sorry, half, that's half multiplied by 0 point, uh, the base is 1.2, 1.2, multiplied by 0 0.6 so here again you have to follow the steps so first let's multiply these two 1.2 and 0 0.6 so when you multiply 1.2 and 0 0.6 let me show you that how to get the steps so first let's multiply 1.2 with 0 0.6 0 0.6 so that's going to give you 0 0.72 see uh, all what you need to do is i'll show you the steps too okay here uh 1.2 multiplied by 0 0.6 so you usually multiply like how you do it so here it's 1.2 and 0 0.6 they did not put that but you can just imagine that so first you will multiply six twos are 12 six ones are six plus one is seven and then you will add a zero that's how you do. But also you don't have to do because anything you multiply with zero is going to give you zero. So you don't have to do that. So once you multiply 12 with six, you will get 72. And then what you have to do is count from one decimal place to the other. So from here, it is 0 0.6. So from here, point to another point. So it's two decimal places, which means you will count from here. It's one and two. So you put the decimal point in front of seven and you will add the zero there so you will be getting 0 0.72 now this is not the end of it because we just multiplied two and got 0 0.72 also we need to multiply now the next one is one half multiplied by so the next one is going to be one half multiplied by that's basically half of 0. Um, 72, 0 0.72. So half of 0 0.72, you, it's like you divide it by 2. 0 0.72 divided by 2 is going to give you 0 0.36. Now, if you do the long way here, they did not do the long way. If you do the long division method, you will be getting 0. You cannot divide by 2, so you put 0. 7 divided by 2 will give you 3, the remainder will be 1, then you bring down the 12, 2, that will be 12, divided by 2 will give you 0 0.36. So your answer for this question has to be 0 0.36. I will directly write the answer as I have shown you the steps to be done. So I will write the answer here, area is equal to 0 0.36. And don't forget to write the units, it should be uh, meter so square meter so i have to be writing it like that because i cannot write the two above m so i have i have written it like this so your answer should be 0 0.36 i don't know why the point is not visible there but it is going to be 0 0.36 square meters so if you have got 0 0.36 your answer is correct okay now moving on to the next question again this you have to be very it's easy but you have to be careful when you are solving it so again the formula is half bh i'm not writing that but rather let me show you how to do that here so that for me it will be easy to show you Wait. 
Okay, so this is question number three. I just copied the picture here, that's all. Um, so the formula is going to be the same for you. You will be following the same steps. A is equal to half multiplied by BH. Writing the equation is very, very, very important. I don't need to keep repeating that every time. So A is equal to half. Uh, B multiplied by H or we write it as BH. So the next step is we are going to, I hope this is big enough and clear for you all. Let's increase the size. Okay, so the next step is going to be A is equal to A is equal to half multiplied by uh, not easy teaching math on the screen as teaching on the board it does take time so half multiplied by the base is going to be four and a half so i will put four and a half there again four and a half then again multiplied by two two thirds so I just want to do this so that you will understand how to multiply and you will not make mistakes. Two, two thirds. Okay, so this is going to be the next step. You just replace base is four and a half, that's the down part, and the height is two, two over three. Now, what's going to be the next step for you? The next step is going to be we have to solve all this. So, before we solve, we need to change these um, into improper fractions. As you know, you cannot do with uh, fractions in this way. You have to change them to improper fractions. So this is how you need to be doing. I just put that um, in the calculator. Not calculator, it's just that I want to show the steps. Okay, so this is going to be half multiplied by four and a half multiplied by two, two over three. So the first step is change the mixed numbers into improper fractions. So that's going to be two fours are eight, eight plus one is nine over two. And this one, three twos are six, six plus two is eight, eight over three. So once you change, it's all going to be one over two multiplied by nine over two multiplied by eight over three. Now all that's left for us is multiply the numerators together and the denominators denominators together. So one nines are nine, nine eights are seventy-two, two twos are four, four threes are twelve. So it's going to be seventy-two over twelve, which is going to give you the answer as six. So your answer for that question has to be six. Um, now I'm not again going to write the formula. Okay, so all what I'm going to do is just I will write the answer as I've shown you the steps. So it's going to be six and the unit is going to be square feet. So you will have to write it as square feet, feet and above two. So that the answer will be six square feet, which means half multiplied by four and a half multiplied by two, two over three. The answer will be six square feet. If you had any problem in understanding, Rewind it a bit and pause the screen there. If you you can read it, like you can just go through it and see how they have done, and then you will understand it. Okay, so today let's move on to today's lesson. It's the same lesson, but then they have given us the area, and we have to find the base or the height, whichever is missing, similar to lesson one, where the area was given, and we have to find the base or the height. Okay, so let's start from question number two. Now, this is question number two, the same one. I have just copy-pasted into another document so that it will be easier for me to show you the steps. That's all. This is question number two. The area of the triangle is 132 in square inches. Find the height of the triangle. So here they have given us the base and they have given us the area. We have to find the height. What we did was we were finding the area when the base and the height was given. Now they have given you the area. You have to find the base and you have to find the height. So the same thing, basically we are going to be doing the same thing. First, of course, start by writing the equation. So that's going to be A is equal to half BH. Okay, writing the formula. Why do I keep repeating write the formula? Because we, you will not forget once you keep writing it. Half BH. Okay, so the next step is going to be, let's write the values which are in place of these. So the area for this is given to be 132, which is equal to uh, 
132 is going to be equal to half. Okay, so let's write that as half multiplied by the base is given to be 22. So we will write the base as 22 multiplied by the height we don't know. So let's write it as h. So this is the equation first you are going to be solving. So to solve, if you see, we have 132 on this side, on the other side of the equal sign. So first let's solve this two first. Half multiplied by 22. In fact, half multiplied by 22 is like 22 divided by 2 because 122 is 22 divided by 2 will give you 11 or in other words, half of 22. What is half of 22? 11. 22 divided by 2 is 11. So here you are just going to be solving that and writing it on the other side. So 132 equals 11 multiplied by h. Okay, how did you get 11? Half multiplied by 22. So half of 22 is 11, or you can even do the other way. 1 multiplied by 22 is 22, divided by 2 will give you 11. Now, it's similar to the equations which we got before. It's 11 multiplied h, which means to find out h, we have to do the opposite. So it's going to be 132 divided by 11 is going to give you 132 or you can write it as over 11, or you can write it as divided by 11. It's all going to be the same. 11 is going to give you h. So how much is 132 divided by 11? 11, what gives you 132? 11, can you guess the answer? How much? Mental math it is. 12. 11 multiplied by 12 is going to give you 132, right? Um, so you don't forget to write the units. It has to be in inches only because you're finding the height, not the area. Only for area, it'll be square inches. But here, because we are finding the height, it's going to be only 12 inches. I hope that part is clear for you. So I'll give you two minutes. Try to um, do question number five, and that's it. then let's discuss the answer together. So your two minutes starts now start doing it like how we have done the previous question it's going to be the same so you can do it and let's discuss the answers Okay, are you all done? I hope you have finished. So let's discuss, it's not two minutes, but I know it won't take much time. So I have written the formula, area is equal to half pH. So area is given to be as 52.5. Okay, so 52.5 equals half multiplied by, and that's gonna be the same half again. Okay, so that's gonna be half multiplied by, the base is given to be 5, only the triangle is tilted, no, it has been tilted to the other side, but you can see the base is 5, and we don't know the height, so we are going to find the height. So half multiplied by 5, multiplied by 2, or multiplied by h. So what's going to be the next step? First, we need to, of course, uh, solve one side of the equation. So let's solve this side of the equation first, because we have two numbers here. Okay, so this is not a multiplication sign. That's why it's coming like this. 
dancing x okay okay the next step is going to be 52.5 equals half multiplied by 5 so half multiplied by 5 is in fact half of 5 how much is half of 5 5 divided by 2 is going to give you 2.5 mental math right multiplied by h so half multiplied by 5 is going to give you 2.5 why 2.5 because half of 5 is 2.5 5 divided by 2 is 2.5 if you want to find out you can you do the steps you can put 5 inside 2.5 outside and just divide and see that this is basic math half of 5 is 2.5 so again to find h what are we going to do the next step is h is going to be equal to 52.5 divided by divided by 2.5 so 52.5 divided by 2.5 as you know we cannot divide when the point is here so we have to move it so to remove it we move one decimal place whereas same from the divisor dividend also we move so what we will be left with is 525 divided by 25 so if you divide 525 25 by 25 you will be getting the answer as 21 if you have got the answer as 21 well done only i have kept repeating take care when you are dividing decimals and uh, fractions the only thing is the rule when always you must not forget this because you cannot divide with a decimal place in the divisor so you move it one place away to remove it so same if you move away one decimal place from the dividend also you will move away one decimal place so that will also be out what you'll be left with is five 525 divided by 25 you can follow the same normal method of division and find out the answer as h is equal to 21 okay now let's do this part together so that's going to be the same again the area is given to be 17.2 but the base is given to be 80. now if you notice here you have to be very careful see these units the base is given to be millimeter and the area is given in centimeter this is a little tricky now you wouldn't have observed that until i say if you did not notice that your answer which you are going to get will not be correct at all why because how can an answer have two different units now if you notice all the questions which we did the units are the same if, if it's the base is in inches the height is also in inches if the area is in square meter the base is also in meter the height is also in meter but for this question the base is given to be in millimeter and the area is given to be in centimeter so you have to be smart enough here you have to have both the units the same either both of them should be millimeter or both of them should be centimeter so i guess changing the centimeter to millimeter is easy remember the converting chart king harry died because of what okay the same rule we will use here we will change the centimeter to millimeter so first let me change the centimeter to millimeter 17.2 square centimeter now i can insert the symbols okay so 17.2 centimeter square how am square centimeter how am i going to change it to millimeter how many millimeters are first of all you're changing a big to a small so you will multiply so what's the difference between centimeter and millimeter because drinking chocolate milk so it's just one chocolate milk right so it's 10 so that's going to be 17.2 multiplied by 10 so simply that's going to be 172 cent, uh, millimeter squ uh, square millimeter now why square millimeter because we already multiplied it by 10 so that's going to be the now the area is going to be 172 millimeter square now as usual we can use the same way which we used for this and then find out the answer the same method so here all what you need to do is write the formula again here that was an extra step which we needed to do because we had to change the centimeter to millimeter so the next part is uh, area is 172 millimeter so let's write that 172 equals half multiplied by the base is given to be 80 so half I'll just copy this thing so 
So half multiplied by the base is 80 multiplied by h. We have to find the height. So we don't know. What are we going to do? We are going to multiply, solve this part. That's, so that's half of 80. How much is half of 80? It's easy, half of 80 is 42. Sorry, 40. Half of 80 is 40. So 172 is going to be equal to 40 multiplied by h. Now, what's the final step? h is going to be equal to 172 divided by 40. Now you find out how much is that. I'll give you a minute. h is equal to 172 divided by 40. Find out how much is the answer. Your one minute start has already started. So tell me the answer within a few seconds. Found the answer? Found, found. How much is it? It is going to be 43 millimeters. 172 divided by 40 is going to give you 100, uh, sorry, 43 millimeter, not 100, 43 millimeters. Hope you have got the answer correct because it was simple division. Okay, now as usual, let's move on to the next page of your lesson. That's going to be your favorite problem solver. No, uh, don't look at it and get scared. No, it's a very easy one. Okay. Now, let's see. Alani is building a set of four shelves. Each shelf will have two supports in the shape of right isosceles triangle. Now, I want you to concentrate on this part. What does a right isosceles triangle mean? What does a right isosceles triangle mean? Any idea what does an isosceles triangle mean? Isosceles triangle mean it is a triangle which has two equal sides. So I will show you how an isosceles triangle looks like. It looks like, where is it? Oh, it's gone, I just, okay. An isosceles triangle, looks exactly uh, that also they said it's a right isosceles triangle so an isosceles triangle looks exactly like this okay so an isosceles triangle looks like this which means this side and this side are equal if this side is five if this side is also going to be five if this side is three centimeter this side is also going to be three centimeter not this long side that side will not be equal only these two sides will be equal because they said it's a right isosceles triangle which means this is going to be a right angle remember what are right angles 90 degree angles so this is how a right isosceles uh, triangle looks like Okay. Now let's go back to the question, what they are saying. Each shelf is 14 inches deep. You can see that they have shown this part. This is the base. Now if you look at the picture very carefully, this is going to be the base. So if base is 14, okay, so base is going to be 14, which means let's name this side as 14. Okay. Okay, what's the other side going to be for if it's an isosceles triangle? If this side is 14, what's this side going to be? It is also going to be 14 because isosceles triangle, two rights, two sides are equal. So if this is 14, this is also going to be 14, which means the height, the, the height is also 14, the base is also 14. Clear? I hope that is clear for you. Okay, how many square inches of wood will she need to make all of the support? So she's making four shelves, as you can see, and for each shelf, she has given two triangle supports. Okay, so each triangle base is 14 and the height is also 14. So what are the, let's start answering this part. What are the base and height of each triangle? Now from the drawing which I showed you, what is the base and the height of each triangle? The base is also 14, right? So the base is 14. In 14 inches and the height is also 14 inches. 
height is also 14 inches, base is also 14 inches. What formula can you use to find the area of a triangle? What's the formula for area of a triangle? All of us know that. What's the area? Area is equal to, that's A is equal to half B H, right? Half multiplied by base multiplied by the height. Now you don't write half like this, you will write the correct way. Explain how can you find, the, how you can find the area of one triangular support. So how are you going to find the area of one triangular support? As usual, you'll use the formula, you have to just find the area of one. So let's find it out and see how much is the area of one triangular support. So I'll go back to the white screen and again start by writing the uh, ugly handwriting. Okay, so that's going to be area is equal to half. Why doesn't this half? Okay, half multiplied by 14, that's the base. One is so small. Okay, four, 14 multiplied by 14. Multiplied by 14. Now there are two ways of doing it. You can use any way. You can either cancel the two with 14 because that will give you a 7 and then you multiply 7 with 14. As simple as that. Or you will find out 14 multiplied by 14 is how much and then divide it by 2. Up to you, whichever way you want to you do. I'm cancelling because that is more easier for me. So 2 7s are 14. Now what's left is 7 multiplied by 14. So 7 multiplied by 14 is going to give you... I don't think I have to be writing this because that's a mental math kind of question. So 17 multiplied by 4, that's going to give you 7 4s are 28. 7 1s are 7 plus 2 is going to give you 9. Now all these steps you will be showing in your book. But because I cannot type it there, I am doing it here. All these steps and this triangle also, you will draw it there. Where you will draw the triangle? You will draw the triangle in this space here. Here, a small triangle, okay? Then name it as 14 and 14, and then you will show all the remaining steps in that part only, because we need the answer. So how much is the area of one triangle? That was going to be, so all that, I'm only writing the answer here, okay? So our area of one triangle is equal to 98, Square inches. So I cannot write square inches. I'm using it like this. You will write inches and then up to. So you found out now you found out the area of one triangular support. So how many triangular supports are needed to build four shelves? So how many triangles are in four shelves? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So how many triangular shelves, uh, triangular supports we need? We need eight. Okay, now how many square inches of wood will Alan need to make all the supports? So for one it was 98, the area was 98. So now we need to find out for eight. Simple, right? Area is, equal, sorry, how many square inches of wood? So you are just going to multiply 98 by eight. So how much is 98 multiplied by eight? Eight eights are 64. You will put four down there and then carry six up. Eight nines are 72 plus six is going to give you 78. So 784 square inches. So you'll be, the Alan, not you, Alan, you'll be needing 784 square inches of wood to make all the eight supports. Easy, right? It, it was not scary as it was looking. Okay, so um, that was your lesson for today. Um, then, What's left is your homework, right? Did we do this? Yeah. So all what is left is your homework. You have finished question two and three. So your remaining question will be question four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And the next page, question one and two. So you have quite a lot of questions today to be done, but they are easy. Only do take care of the decimals, the fractions. When you're moving the decimals or you're multiplying, you have to be very careful. So, and don't do silly mistakes when you're multiplying, okay?
So you will have to do question four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the next page, question one and two. Hopefully you all have understood today's lesson. So until I meet you tomorrow in tomorrow's video, do take care of yourselves and stay safe.